properties in Quick wrap of all that's making news throughout the country. Pet dogs biting strangers in elevators is becoming a regular occurrence. Here's a video of the latest. This time it happened in an apartment complex in Noida. A young man holds the dog by the leash while another stands at a distance near the elevator door. But while exiting the elevator, the dog lunges at the man who falls down on the floor. It's unclear whether he was bitten. The owner then drags the dog out of the elevator. This latest video comes a day after a viral clip of a pet dog biting a young boy in the elevator of an apartment in Ghaziabad. The boy was seen visibly in pain, but the dog owner just looked on and didn't even bother to check up on the kid. The Ghaziabad police registered a case based on a complaint filed by the boy's parents. The running battle between the Delhi government and Delhi LG took another turn today. Amadi Party MP Sanjay Singh literally tore up a defamation notice sent by VK Saxena saying he won't be cowed down by a corrupt coward. Amadi Party had accused the LG of a 1400 crore scam when he was the KVIC chief to which uh, sent a notice for derogatory malicious charges. Meanwhile, the Delhi LG has received a complaint against Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. The complainant alleges that Kejriwal sold three plots of land for over four crore and showed on papers a grossly undervalued price of 72 lakhs. As per the complainant, the, in fact, Mr. Kejriwal duped the exchequer of over 25 lakh in stamp duty and over 76 lakhs as capital gains tax. Now let's take a look at the revamped Central Vista Avenue, which will be inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi tomorrow. It's a bird's eye view of the brand new Central Vista Avenue. It's visibly wider, cleaner and greener. Delhi's power corridor will now have an all new look. The redeveloped Central Vista Avenue, which stretches from Vijay Chowk to the India Gate. I'm standing in Vijay Chowk area and this particular road onto which I'm walking as of now used to be identified as Rajpath but now it has been renamed as Kartavyapath. This stretch joins the two iconic buildings. One is Rashtrapati Bhavan and the other one is of course the India Gate. Prime Minister Modi's dream project is all set to be open for public use on the 8th of September. So at 7 p.m. tomorrow is when the Prime Minister will be formally unveiling it. Another Bengal minister is under CBI scanner. The agency raided multiple properties of Law Minister Malloy Ghatak in connection with an alleged coal smuggling scam. The ED has lodged a case under the money laundering law based on a CBI FIR. Ghatak has appeared for questioning before the ED at least once. The Income Tax Department conducted pan-India raids over the funding of registered but unrecognized political parties, sources tell CNN News 18, that raids were also carried out at the Delhi office of Think Tank Center for Policy Research, which is allegedly linked to funding of political parties. Officers of income tax have raided uh, an office of a Supreme Court lawyer that is Abhishek Krishna. This comes in the backdrop of the report of the Election Commission of India where they actually came out and said that the amount of money that has been siphoned off by these political parties as donations, that is something a uh, big, big, big question mark. And look at what happened when Bihar's Deputy Chief Minister Tejasvi Yadav made a surprise late night visit to a Patna hospital. Yadav, who is also Bihar's health minister, visited the Patna Medical College hospital late in the night. <laughs> He found an unclaimed body lying in the corridor instead of the mortuary and stray animals roaming around inside the hospital. Tejashvi Yadav pointed out many irregularities and then visited the medical superintendent's office. But the official was getting ready to sleep. His bed was ready, complete with a musketonet. In the wards, patients complained about unclean toilets and unavailability of senior doctors at night. Doctor, 
पेशेंट जो है वो उनको सुविधा नहीं मिल रही थी यादव अशोर दट ही विल फिक्स ऑल द इश्यूज and bihar chief minister nitish kumar continued his opposition outreach today he met ncp chief sharad pawar while speculation is rife about his future plans nitish maintains that he is in delhi for the sake of opposition unity and is neither a claimant for the prime minister's job in job in 2024 nor does he desire it the rains have subsided in bengaluru but the streets remain waterlogged but is a government builder nexus behind this mess that we have witnessed in the city cnn news 18 learns that the karnataka government went soft on bengaluru based real estate firm mantri developers which built an sez on the bilander lake wetland the sez is yet to be demolished despite ngt and supreme court orders we are outside the bilander wetlands and what you see behind me is a 2300 crore project that has been stopped by the ngt in 2016 and has asked the government to recover 130 crore rupees from the builders mantri developers and ensure that this building is demolished and the wetlands are recovered and resorted back to its original form brahmastra stars alia Kap- alia bhat and ranbir kapoor were stopped from entering ujjain's mahakal temple Ahead of the release of their film Alia and Ranbir were headed to the Mahakaleshwar temple to visit the famous Jyotirlinga Mahakaleshwar temple uh, which I'm very excited about right on the eve of our release and very happy we found the time to go But before their arrival members of the Vishwa Hindu Parishad and Bajrang Dal gathered at the temple's VIP entrance and held black flags They were objecting to a comment that Ranbir Kapoor had made many years ago about eating beef The police had to use batons to bring the crowd under control But given the volatile situation the lead actors decided to fly back to Mumbai without the darshan Madhya Pradesh mein I'll just tell you thing I was feeling really bad that honestly Ranveer and Alia did not come with me for darshan to Mahakaleshwar temple but when we reached there and we heard about this I felt a little bit that let me go alone When things were under control Brahmastra director Ayan Mukherjee visited the temple alone and performed the puja A bridge in Democratic Republic of Congo collapsed as officials gathered to inaugurate it. As soon as the ribbon was cut, the bridge caved in with the officials still on the structure. Security personnel immediately rushed to the spot to rescue the delegates from the falling bridge. Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping will be at the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit in Uzbekistan next week. The two leaders had last met in February weeks before Russia invaded Ukraine. The meeting will be closely watched because Moscow and Beijing have increasingly aligned their foreign policies over the years. Taiwan's military is showing off its mettle with two straight days of drills. Taiwanese fighter jets roared overhead launching flares in the air. Apache assault helicopters fired 33 mm chain guns and rockets. Troops also fired javelin anti-tank weapons pounding targets. After weeks of saber rattling by China, Taiwan is flexing its military might with two days of drills in Pingtung. Tensions came to a head after US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited the island. Taiwan is a self-ruled island, but China sees it as a breakaway province. So after Pelosi's visit, China held unprecedented military drills near Taiwan, launching ballistic missiles and sending ships into the Taiwan Strait. And here's how, how Australian tennis star Nick Kyrgios reacted when he lost in five sets in the US Open quarterfinals. He took his frustration out on his racket smashing it on the ground repeatedly before throwing it with force. He then went on to pick up another racket and hurl that to the ground as well. A NASCAR driver's hopes literally went up in flames. Kevin Harvick's car caught fire on lap 276 in the final stage of the Darlington Raceway. Fire emerged out of both sides from beneath Harvick's Ford car. Harvick continued for a couple of laps but then the flames got bigger. So he had no choice but to pull the car on the grass and jump out to safety. Here's the thing on the right side. We've kind of seen before the left out the pipes is a new. Harvick says he had not experienced any issues with his engine prior to the fire and had not suffered any damage to his car in the race. 
Harvick said it's another safety problem with the next-gen car that NASCAR must fix. And a woman from Ohio in the U.S. had to make an embarrassing phone call to 911 from her smartwatch after she got stuck upside down while exercising at the gym. We leave you with this. I could look up the non-emergency number, but um, I am in Korea. Sorry, I'm on my watch. Um, I. There's only like one other person at the gym, and I got stuck in this, you know, the, that back backboard thing that like flips back. And, and oh dear lord, my ankles are burning. Are you uh? Are you <laughs> Just easiest easiest rescue ever. Oh, there you go. Thank you.